Hello there! This is DBT, and these are the Bruins. And alright, let's play some more The Crew 2! It's been already one month since I made a video on this game, but there's a very good reason for me to come back to it. And that is of course because, well, you can see it on the title, new Lambos have landed, oh yeah! So, around the spooky season, uh, meaning at the very beginning of November, um, I made a video on this car that I'm driving right now, which is the Lamborghini Reventon, which was the last uh, or the newest Lambo added on the game, and it had been a very long time since there was a Lambo added, so I was really glad to see that that was the case. Um, I, I bought it, I drove it, and all of that, and actually look at this livery that I have on right now. It's a Gumball 3000, supposedly, I don't know if it, somebody actually run with this, but look at that ball on the side, it looks fantastic. Overall, I really like this livery, so I went for it. I applied it, and here we are. Now, um, there's new Lambos that were added, and yes, plural, Lambos. Two new Lambos added, new, I mean, quote-unquote, one is new, one is new to the game, let's put it like that. And um, that's, that's pretty dope, however, I wanted to make this video since, like, I don't know, I don't know how many days ago, but the reality is that, if you remember that time when I was playing with um, precisely this car in the last video, I did not have a lot of funds in this game, so this this new Lambos, of course, you have to buy them. And fortunately, because of the business model of the crew, you can just grind to get the resources in game. You don't necessarily have to pay real money. You, I suppose, you're free to. Oh Jesus Christ! I didn't mean to go here. Um, I suppose that you can just pay your way into getting the car quickly. But in my case, I decided, you know what? I need to grind it. So I had to grind like 1.5 million. Um, box or whatever they are over here in order to have enough to buy the cars have i bought them yet no that's exactly what we're doing here today i just wanted to start up with some driving apparently terribly of my beloved uh Reventon. there you go so all right beautiful car for sure um but let's have a look at what's waiting for me i'm gonna step stop right there in the middle of the road so, let's have a look. So if we go over here to catalog, no, not in catalog, hub, you can see over there. Um, if we look over here in this weekend, the crew two, it gives you some information. Oh, actually, you know what? You don't get to see that because that's an overlay. Never mind. I won't show it to you there. Instead, I will just show you the elite bundle. This is what I've been wanting to see. There it is. There's a welcome, whatever. All that matters is this one. Elite bundle number 12. And you can see that basically they're selling for a discount of 15%, which it doesn't sound like much, but considering that it, it went from almost 1.8 million to 1 point, a little over 1.5, yeah, I mean, it's uh, definitely some time saved on grinding. So let's buy it. Oh, Jesus, I moved the mouse and now it's one thing to use the mouse. All right, let's do it. I'm ready to spend my resources. So I went from like 150 or 200,000 to 1.9 million. Trust me, I've been grinding. But here we are. Let's buy it. Yeah. There's the Countach LPI 804, which is in one of the newest Lambos that was made. And there is, of course, the Lamborghini Countach LP 5000 Quattro Valvole, um, which is obviously a very old Lambo, but still a Lambo. Surprising that this game didn't have the Countach, the original Countach, but hey, here it is. So let's buy the bundle, shall we? For 1.5 million, oh boy! All of my resources, there they go. Ugh. But it's 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 worth it for two Lambos. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it, man. All right. So first off, let's select my. We're gonna start with the with the poor old Countach. And when I say poor, I just mean like, hey, it's a Countach. It's it's an old car. Um, we're gonna select it. But all right, how about we check it out as is. First of all, look at this beauty. Oh yeah. And actually, very recently, I got the Hot Wheels premium version of this this car in red. It's pretty dope, so. And it's of this precise model, so that's why I said like, ooh, nice. Oh yeah, old V12 sounds. Before they became the higher pitch screamer that they became later. This is the more old school type of of roomy noises that it used to make it's a nice car it's a nice car for sure but what we're here for obviously we're gonna want to see the customization 
Give me customization, please. So vehicles, customize, and let's see what's out there. So, well, the very first thing that I do want to say is that I'm glad that the this main version of the car doesn't have the wing. Because for some reason, I don't like this car with the wing. Or maybe I should say with the original wing. But anyway, let's look at the visual parts. What can we do to the hood? Alright, black. What the... Hecolio is the... Uh, uh, is that a wing in the front of the car? What is that? Is that a thing I had never seen that? What the hell is that? I am utterly confused. I don't know what this is. I am extremely confused and I think this is ugly as sin. So let's not. All right, the front is nothing too interesting to me. I'll say that much. Let's see what's on the front bumper. All right, some changes of colors. Oh, okay. Nice. What's the difference? Okay, more color. And okay, there we go. Wide and wide with some color, additional color accents. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's see in the rim. Well, you know what the rims are, calipers, side mirrors. There's only two. I see. Rear fender. Well, I mean, this has this thing is already widened, so with carbon or even wider. Okay, super wide Countach. I get it. Uh, hold on. Before the wing, I want to look at the bumpers. Oh, just that? Really? Oh, wait up! Wait up! That changed. Oh, hello. Okay. Ah, curious. All right. Interior color. All right, so wing. Yeah, there's a default wing that I don't like very much. Black. And that's it? Oh, man. All right, I gotta say, I am a little disappointed with the customization of this car. But let's just make it look dumb. How about that? Not this level of dumb, though. Let's just go with nice combination of parts. And let's make it look a bit crazy. That's all I want. The wide with more accents. And uh, let's do. Oh, wait a second. Why do I feel like I missed something? Bumper. Hood. Bumper. Oh, that, that was it? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Just checking, just checking. Don't mind me. Uh, mirror's gonna stay the same. Defender. We're gonna make it wide. And I'm curious, how does it look like that? Oh, and. How about we give it this crazy nonsense? Though I don't like that it makes black all that top on the all that part on the top, but let's let's try it. Let's see what that looks like in action, in world. Yeah, I'm a I'm a little bit disappointed at the customization of the Kuntash. I don't think it looks super amazing. I was hoping for a little more customization, but hey, you know. And I also wish. We could give it a different wing, because I really, I think that's the problem that I have with the wing. I don't love the shape of the wing of the Countach. Overall, I still feel like the Countach looks better without a wing, period. Oddly enough, coming from me, I know, but I don't know. The original wing just doesn't quite do it for me. So, all right, this is a, a peculiar car, I'll say that much. Of course, I can equip it with some nonsense. Um, let's just put whatever. I have a bunch of parts, so might as well. I'll just use whatever. I don't even care too much to to do a setup right now. I just want it to have a decent rank. And how about we try a race with it? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna do this. There we go. So basically, that takes it to the maximum rank, 280. So how about we do a race with this beauty? And in fact, I'll show you which race I've been using to grind this thing. Because um, I think it's one of the best races to get a bunch of money. I, I suppose it might be one of the best... Uh, wait, 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 no. Uh, straight race, there we go. One of the best um, time for the buck, you know? Because over here it tells you how much it gives. For example, 18,900, right? 
So that's how much money I would get from that race. But I could also do this race, and at maximum difficulty, it actually gives me more money. But the thing is that it, regardless of the world record, um, this race, this one, takes me like under two minutes to do, and I get 19,000 plus some additional um, uh, due to extra whatever. Um, this one might take me two minutes and 30 seconds. So that is like one quarter more of the time and I don't get one quarter more of the money. I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so... Oh, Jesus. There we go. That is why I, I go specifically for that race. Because it seems that it's one of the quickest races that I can do and gives me a decent payout. Um, normally I do it with cars that I have set up to get me a lot of credits. So, or bucks or whatever it is in a way that I can get the most money. So instead of getting about 19,000, I get about 23.5 thousand um, from doing the race. But right now, this is just to show you what, what race it is. I have gotten quite used to it. I kind of know how to do it nowadays. And I kind of learned a couple of the, what would you say? Shortcuts. Kind of like this, just... Why, why would you follow the road if you can just break some fences and all of that? I mean, honestly, this race has helped me a little bit to drive. I wouldn't say necessarily better as in, oh, I drive much better. But just to improve a little bit how I handle the car. Because there's definitely a bunch of turns and all of that. And I've been learning a bit more how to control cars in this game. Although I still say that the general driving feeling in this game is a bit weird. It's a bit... This is one of those um, shortcuts over there. Now, this is not the card that, obviously, because I just bought it, but this is not the card that I use for, for grinding credits. I was using my Gallardo, because my Gallardo is super Ligera. I have it set up for giving me more credits. So it does seem that, indeed, the, the cars do handle different. For example, this one, I feel like it's turning a bit more... It feels a bit more twitchy than my, than my Gallardo. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, but hey, in the end, I just wanted to use it, right? Yeah, I avoid that ramp that I just passed because I feel like it slows you down too much if you go for it. Like, with the air time and while you land and if you lose control and all of that stuff. Oh, just has... Alright, not... Look at... Look at... Yeah, this card is much more twitchy than the Gallardo, that's for sure. And there we go, I got a similar time. Normally I... I think the best I've gotten is like 143 or something, but hey, it's still a relatively decent time. So there you go, this is the race that I've been doing. By default I get some extra money because of the... My character's point spent in whatever. There's some passive uh, bonuses that you can kind of select according to the points that you get. And I put a lot of them, I'll show you right here in Pilot. Now where's it? Pilot. Um, in the icon points, there we go. This is exactly it, the rich. I have right now one point to spend, so I spend it and it's gonna give me 0 0.1 additional bucks. You can see on the, on the right, it says that currently I have it at 5.8, or probably have it at 5.7, and I, I apply this, and there we go. So I've spent a bunch of points in that alone, and that's something, if you wanna make some, some money in this game, that's how you do it, although it does definitely take some time. But anyway, that was the Lamborghini Countach Quattro Balboli. However, we're here not to look at this one, although it's not that I'm not interested. But of course, I'm more interested in the Lamborghini Countach LPI. Oh, yeah. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Man. I originally wasn't super sold when I saw this car announced by Lamborghini. I thought like, well, that's not too inspiring. It didn't look anywhere as aggressive as an Aventador. But the more I've looked at it, the more I like it because it's a, it's a completely different idea. The Aventador is m more meant to look like knives ready to cut you. This is more just made to look sleek and I love it for it. And I, I, yeah, I like this car a lot more now. And of course it has the classic V12 sound of the V12 sounds in this game. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna drive it a little bit, just to see it, to hear it, to... Oh, sorry buddy, I probably just killed you right there. Um, to experience... Jesus, these people jaywalking, what's the problem with them? 
Alright, yeah. Kind of what you expect from, from, from this card, nothing too crazy. But, of course, we need to see the customization. I really don't know what's the customization on this thing. So, I'm very, very curious. Jesus Christ. It's kind of fun trying to dodge the, the traffic. Although, in mid-races, it can get super annoying. But anyway, let's see what's out there for this car in terms of customization. Because I'm really curious about it. Okay, customize. Come on, give me some lots of customization, please. Please, for the love of everything that is holy. Holy. Okay, so there's only two hood. There's this, and let me guess, color. Yeah, all right. Not too interesting. Bumper. Oh, that's a lot of bumpers. Okay. Okay, just different color for the light um, thingy. Uh, okay, more black, more carbon at the bottom. What's the difference? Color again, I guess. Yep. Okay, there we go. Adds some white at the bottom. I kind of like that, in fact. Uh, again, headlight. So basically, these are just variation with the color on the headlight uh, for each one of the, let's say, permutations. All right, what's the deal with this? Oh, okay, the, the I see, I see the, the splitter. Uh, color combinations. All right, so it's mostly about color combinations. I kind of like that one, but let's see. Uh, Fender, only two options. Wide. Okay, wide Countach. Remember when I was saying that this thing was made to look sleek? Well, this doesn't look so sleek anymore, huh? Rims, caliper, side mirrors too. Yeah, okay. Just colored again. Skirt. Color combinations. Okay. Rear fender. Just make it wide. Bumper. I see 12. So that might be like 6 and 2 variants or something. I don't know. Okay, that's just colored over there. I might actually like that a little bit. Well, I don't know. Fully black. Oh, okay, cool. Some white at the bottom. More combinations. Yeah, so this is basically just colors. And a little bit of change of exhaust. I wish you could just change the exhaust separately from the rest, but oh well. Uh, <gasps> no wing! Oh my god, are you for real? There's no wings! Oh, I feel... I feel betrayed, man. It's happening. Alright. Uh, uh, I have to say it. Don't love it. Don't love the, the options. They're not... Honestly, in a way, I'm not too surprised. I was wondering what could they have done to this car. I'm considering that it's pretty new. Did they have time to model a bunch of things? Well, apparently not. Or maybe they did have the time, but... Maybe Lamborghini wanted to keep this car sort of vanilla-ish? I have no idea. But man, I am disappointed. For sure. Alright, so... This is the default, right? I don't know, I kind of like this, but I also like this. I'm gonna go for that. Uh, Fender. I mean, I get this. I, I would like to keep the car, you know, unmodified to look as sleek as possible. But then again, I see the unmodified version of this car in all the games that I play. So while I have the opportunity to make this car look dumb, dumber in here, might as well, right? So let's make it a wide Countach. We'll change the rims in a second. I might actually put some effort into that. I'll do color. No, let's do black. Black is fine. Skirts. Um, maybe all black like this so that it looks a bit more aggro, I suppose. I don't know. Wide. And over here, we're just going to go for... Oh, that's a tough one. I kind of like that one, in fact, because it's curious to see the additional parts. But now, let's go for exposed with this. All right, let's do it like that. That's it. I mean, just coloring this doesn't seem all that interesting. I'm more interested on the, the things that change the car physically rather than just the color. But okay. Uh, let's do some change of rims to something that looks ridiculous. Uh, I said ridiculous, please. I need something dumb. No? 
I wish you could adjust the lighting over here so that it would hit it from a different angle. I don't know, I kind of like the original ones, because they're very... Oh, wait. Yeah, I could just use the same in gold. Oh, damn, that's expensive. Holy macaronis. Caliper color. We're going to make it... Doesn't matter. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it with the gold wheels. Uh, now let's look at the livers. I'm curious what people have made of it. Or with it, rather. Alright, alright. I see some SVJ love right there. Mm, not too interesting. Kind of interesting, but not my style. Yeah, I just love wasting a bunch of time looking at... Oh, wow. I like this dual color. Thingy. And I like this one, not gonna lie. Wow, that's slightly trippy. Kinda cool, but not cool enough. A <laughs> police version of the car, why not? This looks very normal. Oh, I see a little bit of red at the bottom. Nah. Oh, and at the back. Nah, not interesting enough for me. Nah. Nah. Anime characters, because of course, that's kind of how it works in these games. Yeah, I'm not going to say that I'm loving what people have created so far, but then again, it's the newest um, Lambo, so it would make some sense that people haven't just yet, you know, refined their creations or, or, or the crazy people that put a ton of effort into this have spent enough time into making one insane maybe there's a bunch that are really cool and they're work in progress or something what does this make me think cn just a little bit just a little bit all right yeah i don't think i'm gonna go for any of this i might just apply a solid color on the car to my liking and just go with that so default colors of course you know this car kind of tried i suppose to to have the same colors as the original kuntash so i guess i can appreciate that but right anodize how will you pronounce that we have matte we have chrome i'm not gonna lie i still feel like white is the color for this car you know maybe it's slightly silverish how about iridescent this looks like candy to me. That one looks kind of cool, but it's a little dark for my taste. All right. So let's go for metallic. Oh, chrome. Yeah, let's make it a silvery chromish. So that it looks crazy. Maybe chromish white, chromish silver, chromish black. Just that, I don't know. I really don't like it in other colors. Oh, you know what? That actually does look kind of dope. I'm not sure it goes with the wheels that it has right now, but hey, what can you do? All right, let's try that. Might as well. I mean, at this point, we're just checking what's what and see what we can do with it. And for the same same thing that I did with the other one, I'm just going to apply some parts. Pretty much almost at random, just so that there's something for this car to be able to perform with. And let's do a race with it. At some point, I will look into what specific parts to give it so that it has, if possible, a good setup. But right now, my only objective was taking it to the performance level of 320, which is the maximum, and just roll with it. Hey, I don't think it looks too bad, does it? I think it actually lo looks kind of dope. How do you activate the... No, that's not it. Um, what is the button for... Photo mode? Is that how you enter? I think there was another way to enter that enter there, but it's fine. Look at this beauty. How do you set up uh where are the options? Where are the options? Uh oh settings, there we go. I just wanna change the yeah, time of day. Whoa, at 2 a.m. it's this bright. Wow. What strange part of the world that must be.
This looks like 5 a.m. to me. But yeah, oh, hey, all in all, I think this looks all right. It, it looks interesting. I'll say that much. All right, let's do a race and just make use of all the money that we spent in, you know, unlocking and buying these cars. Uh, we need to find a not too long hypercar race because some of these are actually pretty damn long. Which is not bad necessarily, but you know. This gives me an idea. It says that the world record is 309. So that means probably the race is going to be longer than that. Probably like five minutes from here or something. Is there something else a little bit shorter? Because we're running out of time over here. I know that's a very long race. Three minutes. What is that? What road is that? All right, let's go over there. Let's, let's do that one. Let's use my Countach LPI with this weird color combination. Okay. So yeah, I have to say it. I'm a little bit disappointed in the in the um, customization option for both cars, but I mean, Three. hey, at least I'm glad there's Two. new Lambos added in the game. Hopefully, One. at some other point, um, whoever works in adding the custom parts for the cars are gonna be like, you know what? This car would be pretty dope if it, if you could put a ginormous wing on top of it. Yeah, let's do that. And they start adding stuff like that. Because at the time, at this moment. I at least did expect to have some sort of wing at all that you could customize, but nope. Again, I get it for the... for the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, come on, man, really? For the smooth aesthetics of the car, but... I find it ridiculous that I'm crashing so much, given that I've been playing for like an hour before I started recording this. Because like I said, I was grinding. I literally just finished grinding in order to record this video. That's that's my level of commitment to check this stuff out. Even if I'm going to do terrible in this race, because apparently I suddenly forget how to race. Yes. All right. All right. All right. I see why when, when the little wingy... More like a spoiler or a wing. I'm, I'm not even sure at this point. It looks more like a spoiler to me. But I can see why below that thing it would be black. Because now that I see it with color, it does look a little bit odd. Especially because of the shape of the of the rear lights. That tubular shape that goes all the way from you know where the actual light is to where it connects to the rest of the body. The fact that it does look like little tubes. It's a little weird. Just a little weird. All right, can we get a decent place meant in this race? Man, I'm telling you, I feel like maybe that's a thing. Like I said, I haven't played this game enough to be like, oh, I do realize that the car drive different and nah, nah, nah. Right. But it does seem that this car, for example, is much more sensitive to steering than... What was I using? Oh, yeah, the, the Reventon. So, I don't know. Because look, I, I keep on crashing constantly while I'm just trying to steer. So that tells me that this thing steers way harder than I am otherwise used to. And as such, I am giving you an absolutely terrible race. But in the end, you didn't come here to see me racing. Or maybe you did. And if you did, I'm sorry. But probably more likely it's about looking at the two new Lambos added in the game. So hey, more Lambos makes me happy. And here we are. Now, it's, there's 50% left of the race. A miracle would have to happen for me to catch up to the first place. And as such, I'm not even going to get my rewards. Because this type of race and this difficulty, you only get rewards, if I remember correctly, if you finish in first place. Yeah, I gotta be more... I gotta be softer when I'm trying to steer this thing. Because it really likes to steer hard. Get out of the way, Sharon. Alright, 70%. Can we do it? Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, so much for... Ah. Oh, and I miss it. Well, fine. I did not... How do you quit the race? Not that I'm going to quit the race or anything, but... Fine. I did not want to do the race at all. It's fine. Whatever. But yeah, there we go. That is the, the new, the two new Lambos added in the crew. Um, a little disappointed by the lack of customization, but new Lambos, in the end, it's always a, new, a, a good thing. 
So I appreciate um, the fact that you can get these Lambos without actually paying money and all of that. So it's, it's all right. I can live with it. But all right, that's going to do it for this video. You know what to do. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. And also remember that I'm uploading currently a lot of Need for Speed Unbound content. So if you're curious about it. By the way, that game also has this car. So just saying, if you want to see it, uh, I'll eventually get to it. But yeah, check the Need for Speed Unbound playlist. Because, man, come on. Let's, let's join together in that adventure. It's all fresh. It's a playthrough. So I'm learning everything. But all right, <laughs> that's enough for the shilling. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. And stay safe. Bye-bye.